five, four, three, two, one. You're live with Neve. This is Live with Neve. Iconic musicians, comedy, and God knows what else. Hold on! <laughs> The technology, mm -hmm. it, you know, I, I guess I, I kind of felt like Marty McFly, you know what I mean? I, I pull up in this DeLorean and here I am. I'm looking into the future. The shark's chasing me across the boulevard there. And, you know, the, the guy that used to work at the Frosty Freeze is now the mayor. Um, <laughs> so, I, I mean, it, it, the change, I think. Um, on my way to court, I passed the house I grew up in. And the trees that I planted that were this big were now 30 feet tall. Well, wow. it was a hometown I didn't recognize anymore. I didn't know where I, you know, I, I, I knew the roads. I saw the street names. And I'm like, where the fuck am I at? I mean, fuck, I haven't driven in a car in five, six years since my last transfer, which now the car rides are like a roller coaster. And when you get out of prison, you know what really sucks? Metal silverware. Oh, oh. absolutely sucks because you got it touches your teeth and you're just like ah, i don't want to touch my teeth because i've been eating off plastic for years oh you God. can't cross the street because you can't judge how fast the damn cars are going right wow well, you know ever even <laughs> yeah um, I mean one thing i do need to do is i need to plug in my computer because my battery thing all is right that's oh, fun yeah, uh, julie let's go to a break Okay. All right. All right. right. Thanks, love. All right, everybody. We'll be right back. We'll be back with Iris shortly. Run a couple, Julie. I'm going to run to the mess. For bonus content, extras, and all sorts of cool goodies, become a patron. Go to Patreon. Live with Neve. Good evening, everyone. I'm here. You're not, but maybe you are. Thank you. Live with Neve, coming right up. And I'm here too. <laughs> Hi, everybody. See you next time. Okay, back to me. Hi, everybody. I'm Jerry Morata. Coming this fall, the Live with Neve show featuring the one, the only, the inimitable, inimitable. Rick, Mur no, I mean Jerry Morales. <laughs> we keep that with the blooper reel. Try one more time. <laughs> Here we are. No, that's, 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 I didn't, that, was that wasn't a mistake. All right. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm Rick Moranis. <laughs> Live with Neve Fridays on the East Coast from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. All right. I, for all of you guys watching, look at this. You see my ear over here. Yeah. Oh, that way. Yeah. My headphone, I sat on it. My headphones just snapped I off. <laughs> I thought I saw something like that. What are those? Something good? Uh, these are some Sennheisers. They're they're getting all crapped up, though, if you look at them. They've had so yeah. much abuse. Look at those things. Yeah, it starts peeling off into your ear. I hate that It crap. is. It's my ears are all grody, you know? They yeah. look all yeah. black and craps all over them when I take them off. I time for some right new ones. On. Yeah. Yeah, it is definitely time for some new ones. That's a whole nother joke I could get into, but uh, this other conversation is far more compelling than any joke I may have at the moment. <laughs> so um, one of the things when we first spoke, and um, if I quote you correctly, I'm remembering correctly, you said that I asked you what was the one thing that saved your life? And uh, let's talk about that a little bit. Yeah, music. Music. So... Um, early on in my sentence, you know, I went in and I, I was on my own. I mean, I had my friends in there, but it's different. You know, you don't have family or, or people from the streets because, I mean, you didn't really establish those sorts of relationships as a kid right. that would last something like that. And at one point in time, I mean, I, shit, I don't think I had a visitor or made a phone call for like 12 years. Wow. And so... I would go to the prison counselors and if you go to them and you tell them your story and it doesn't line up with PSI, which is a pre-sentence investigation report, they say you're nuts. I was diagnosed with like three or four different things 
just because I wouldn't tell them what they wanted to hear. So I quit going. Mm -hmm. So you're sitting in there, you know, what do you do? How do I, how do I vent this bullshit? And I found, I mean, I, I was a drummer, you know, my mom for, through all her, you know, faults was an amazing musician. And Mm -hmm. I've been playing drums since I was a kid. Wow. In prison, you can't play drums, obviously in your cell, but you know, sometimes you get lucky enough and you can play guitar. And music became my counselor and writing and reading and doing all those things is kind of what kept one foot out here. Right. You know what I mean? It's because if you get immersed into prison culture, you'll be immersed in prison culture. Right. And I didn't want that because I didn't, I, I figured if I'm in there and everything starts making sense, I'm really fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. And, you, and it's really hard to overcome that peer pressure and all the things that go on in prison, the intimidation, coercion and so forth. Um, so when did you start playing uh, after you got sentenced? Um, well, I worked my prison job and I mm-hmm. made my 87 cents a day and I saved up for my first rogue dreadnought, which was fifty dollars. And right. man, I played the strings off that thing. I don't think there was a fret left on it. I bet. I bet. Um, well, you really were making some big cash working for the uh, penal system. That, that was another funny thing. So when I got out, they actually sent me my last paycheck. It probably cost more just to mail it than it was actually. So I was at eight eight eighty seven paycheck. And I took a picture of that one next to my first actual, you know, normal paycheck. I think I made, you know, 800 bucks or whatever. But right. I took a picture of those two things and I kept that picture. because it was, it was really symbolic. You know that I actually got you know compensated for my work. Well, uh, I, I'm not putting you on the spot. Would you like to play something for us? Yeah, sure. I'm. I, I ha- now, mind you, I have not rehearsed all that much because I do work a lot. But uh, I'll play right. something for you. Hell yeah! Everybody, we're back with Irish, and uh, we're gonna have him play a little guitar here. Mm-hmm. Hey man, can you tilt your uh, your screen down a little bit? Yeah. Just see a little more of your guitar and you. Oh, that's a little much. <laughs> Almost. We're 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 back to you know the the pictures on the wall not being right, right? Right. I think it's about <laughs> as good as I can get. Now it's like kind of over your forehead, but we'll fix that oh, real quick. Well, I got a lot of right. forehead because I'm losing my damn hair. It's like my forehead. <laughs> I got a five head. It gets bigger every year. It's ridiculous. That's all right, man. <laughs> all right, so you uh, well, brother. Well, thank you. I, I try. Right. This is. It's hard work looking, look, you know, trying to make these little two or three things go one way or the other. Yeah, you, you're doing all right, man. I, I hell, mine looks like a German tourist after COVID, you know? It's yeah. Like horrendous. <laughs> That's no good. So, uh, you know, again, my guitar became my counselor. It was really, uh, you know, I, I'm not mm-hmm. anywhere near where, you know, the guy was on before here. He, 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 He's like a mix of Ben Howard and, and something that's in the, you know, Dirty Hills somewhere. It's great music right. he was playing. Nathan, what, Nathan? Yeah, Nathan's great. And Yeah, wasn't was that great? great? Yeah, he was wonderful. I was sitting here and jamming along. I'm like, man, look at this guy go. He's got the thumb. He's got a thumb pick on there and everything. So he was uh, very, very good. <laughs> he yeah, was he, very he's good. a killer, man. We like him a lot. That guy's yeah. just got it going on. And I can yeah, see you playing too. along with him. Yeah, yeah, he's good. Yeah. He's off camera. Good. I saw you were yeah. playing along with it. That was great. Yeah, yeah, you always gotta find you gotta find the pocket for every song. I, 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 you can relate as a musician that you sure. hear something say, "Okay, what would I do there?" Oh, what, yeah, you know, of course, hell yeah, man. That's what it's all about. You know, it, it's it's crazy. You know, the history of music when you look back at it, it's it's really twelve notes. And how much did you know Pythagoras know when he? you know, devised the music system of that we still follow to this day that 12 notes could express that much through the years. Right. It, it, yes. Music in and of itself is just, it, it's an incredible journey of, of everything. Well, I, I'm a survivor and music has helped me survive anything that's ever been put my way. It's the best yeah. friend I've had other than my mom or, you know, my girlfriend. Um, I have to tell you, it gets you through a lot of heartache sometimes. Yeah, it does. Well, hell, man, let's tear it up. We're looking forward to hearing you. All right. Um, this is one called 20 Years. And it was uh, right around the 20, you know, it was right at 20 years that I, I wrote this one. And it was just you know, kind of how I was feeling at the time. 
Right. So let me get it going here. Right. Let me find. Let me find the right chord. There it is. All right. Drift along this times all oh, seems so far from me. The colors left inside seems to dissipate. Squared up a thousand times has passed that I can never change. My back against the break of walls for 20 years. 20 years. I don't want to dream no more. Twenty years, I hit you with the line as you find a bit. Can it once just go my way? Can you once just come and say, be on your way again? Oh, oh yeah. It took our hand to hold me up. It seems this day is just not enough anymore. Anymore, I know my heart seems broken up. Will she ever find me? Can I ever be enough after 20 years? No more 20 years. I had you in the mind of my will. Can it once just go my way? Be on your way again. Oh, oh, again. Not bad for not having practice, I suppose. Man, that is so nice, dude. That that is just exceptional. Wow. I mean. That was awesome. And uh, Nathan backstage said, beautiful, brother. Beautiful. And so. Thank you. Yeah, you know. Um, no, it's I, just, I, I just coming from him. That, that's really, that's a great well, thing. You sing great, man. You have a nice voice. It's a wonderful tune. Have you recorded it? No, dude, I. I I can't record a quarter freaking phone call, man. What do you mean? <laughs> no, no, no. I meant, I meant um, in general, like, have you recorded it before? I, mean, I, I, I would mean like now. to. You know, I mean, it, it was, it, it's been one of the things like, you know, you write all these songs and you can, uh, you know, you can relate. You, you write them, you want to, you want to hear them. You well, know, you a, fr you a friend of mine, actually, a good friend of mine that actually I got out, you know, really accepting guy. Um, it, it, he's a guy named Zeb that I met. And he's <laughs> in this crazy group called some random random bastards and it. just sounds a lot like nathan on there it just has that really raspy dirty but skill go and it's right. just you know he he just recorded and i'm like man do i want to do that well you know I, i'm just going to volunteer if you decide you want to record that i i can i'll i'll steer you how we could do it i'd love to uh, okay. record that for you i'll help you get it done and uh, you know, it's cool. for your own, it's just something, you, you know, we'll, I'll, we'll talk about it off camera, but we can make that happen. And uh, I'll be glad to help you any way I can. You're just, uh, you're a great guy. And honestly, that's a great song. I don't it care. Um, that is an excellent song. And that, that really spoke to my heart. And uh, I know it will a lot of other people. So we're going to pretty it up it and do something cool, you know. Um, well, listen, I'm going to bring my other guys back on here and uh, bring him into the room. Nathan, we got to wake him up. He's completely baked and assumed room temperature for the moment. <laughs> Sitting there. Look at him. Look at you. you I've just been listening, man. We got to bring Mark. There he is. Mikey, look at you. Hey, guys. Everybody. How about that? Is that some shit? Is this not, man, not the coolest guy we've ever met? I mean, damn. I agree. Yeah, it's an amazing story. And I got somebody, if you want to write it, if you want somebody to write the book, about your life. My ex sister in law is a published author. She's got movies and stuff and so I could hook you up with her. 
You, I'm right. sure you get a lot of offers, but I'll tell you about Mike, and I'll tell you anything we ever do with you. You know, my our word is our bond, man, and and you don't have to ever worry. If we, it's a handshake thing. If we tell you we're going to do something, we'll damn sure do it. You've been through enough bullshit in this life that uh, I feel obligated just to, you know, you need a favor, you need to talk to somebody or ask them about something you don't know regarding audio or video, man, you know, we're here for you. Uh, yeah, yep. So, Julie, you have any other questions for Irish, or how about you, uh, Nathan? Oh, man, I, I've just uh, been sitting here listening. This, this was worth waking up early for. I would agree. I would agree. I, 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 just, I, yeah, I, I have to say, I have to say, watching uh, watching a lot of shows about the Innocence Project, it really opens your eyes to yes. how many innocent yes. people are actually in prison. It's mind-blowing. Mind-blowing. And like, uh, like your case – Served 20, 30, 40, 40 years in prison, and they were innocent the entire time. Just blows your mind. Yeah, And I, I think a lot of them haven't, and, I, and through no fault of their own, a lot of people after they've been incarcerated for so long can't break out of it because they don't know anything else. Um, a lot of folks have been in prison, like you said, a lot of kids go into jail. They're in the prison system 13, 14 years old until then they get out. Then as an adult, they And it up. ruins them. It ruins them because there's no, they don't have any idea or hope or they just don't know what to do. I mean, I feel for these people. And it's um, not, it's not just, it's not just what the system does to them. I mean, it, <laughs> there's, there's a bit of a lack of role models, you know, yes. walking, the, walking the halls of prison for these kids. And um, there, there's salvage, salvageable youth there. Absolutely. You know, kids that can get out and do <laughs> anything in the world. It's sad because I, I watched a lot of them get lost. Well, you know, the, sadly, the political system influences our justice system. And, and, and the, uh, like so many things, they don't really do well. We've, we have not got it right as far as youthful offenders. Um, we also it's don't have, have it right. Anything. Nothing. You know, mental health is huge. Uh, we, we just don't You're treat right. it. There's no, there's no functioning mental health system in, in the States. And, uh, you no, know, some of my bullshit. Republican, some of my Republican friends will say that you know we shouldn't have national health care, and I can see their reasoning. But the older I get, the less I see it because um, every country in the world has you know standard of living of any any decency has it, and we're the only country of our size that doesn't have a national health care system. And um, I've gone back. We have and a national them. insurance system. Exactly. Yes. 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 And, and I mean the thing is, I used to. I used to hear the arguments and kind of could see the point some of my friends make in the, on the right. And at the same time, there's so many people who are bankrupted just to, just by re eliminating all the bankruptcies and the toll that takes on the system. And, and we got to do something. We got to do it better. But in, in particular, even what we have now, the mental health system needs to be fixed. It's, it's completely broken. We put people in jail instead of uh, – doing anything else and they're not going to get better in jail and they get beaten no. on and they they're never going to it's like watching sling blade um it's so we've had a hoot having you on man uh i can speak for myself and everybody's sitting here you know i consider you a friend and um you know i, I was talking to uh your guy we'll be talking later about the video shoot and all that stuff um and i'm looking forward to you know anything you need we'll we'll be here for you and uh Thank you so much. And everybody watching, Toby, thanks for watching. Toby's our uh, L.A. correspondent, and she's been here sitting on the sidelines. She's uh, singing your praises and just loves you, and she's a sweetheart. Uh, Toby does a lot in the music industry for a lot of people. So um, thank you, Toby. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Nathan. And most importantly, thank you, Irish. We want to have you, you back Irish. as soon as we can, brother. Awesome. Absolutely. Bye, thank everybody. You, it's been live with Neve. You see history in the making here. Talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week, live with Neve.